Beauty Farm Guy here, and in this video we're going to be looking at the update to the Wizard Warrior Plus by Rally Christie one VSR Marding Sir on Farming Simulator 22 is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here in the Rock Crawl map, and this is 28.75 megabytes to download. Changelog 1001. We've added a new vehicle. Um, this, the, the uh, Warrior, Lizard Warrior MT. So let's go have a look at it in the store. And it'll be under trucks. So this is the Warrior Plus was the original mod. And uh, it was a fine mod, indeed, still is. But now we have the Warrior Plus MT at $80,000. What's the difference? Uh, the difference is it's a little bit lighter because it is one of these kind of... Uh, it's um, an empty... Um, I can't remember what they call them, but um, it's a it's a, a bareback <laughs> model uh, that you you attach things to. We'll we'll show you the attachments. It came it came with, or it comes with four different attachments. So engine setups first of all 460, 550, 655. So we have basically those three options. If you pick the uh, 655 horsepower, it adds $21,000 to the price tag and a hood scoop. If you don't have the other two, you don't get the hood scoop. I have two of them with the hood scoop, so both of them examples are the big horsepower one, which is pretty good for 21 grand. Now, con uh, tire options. It is limited, however, um, still good. Continental or Nokian? Continental is the uh, basic highway tire. Nokian, we have off-road one or off-road two. So basically, that's all you really need. Um, we have a low bumper or a high bumper. We have low bumper with mirrors and high bumper with mirrors. Whichever one you choose. Up to you. So, uh, vinyls. Now, this is, uh, um, well, take a look. No vinyls. We have a flame design. So, you flame design on the hood, on the sides, on the back fenders. Or we have a, a, a different flame, kind of a, uh, a bull design with um, flameage kind of things. So, we have flame flames and then bull flames. Let's go with the bull flames. So main color. This is the main color of the unit itself. We can choose any of these colors. We have several. We have metallic green. Uh, so that is a matte green. That's I think they're mixed up. It says matte green, but that's definitely metallic. And the metallic is, uh, well, gloss. And let's see, what's the chrome green? At least the chrome green is right. Uh, maybe a little bit mixed up in the in the labeling there that's correct that definitely does not look metallic so something's awry there but anyways you get the idea light gray yeah so it's a matte metallic that's definitely not metallic but anyways uh, let's go with something bright um, even if you choose let's let's even go silly with pink um, just because of the contrast and so that's the main color no charge for the color design color that's going to be let's make that a bright blue all your little accent bits right uh, inside color well we can choose inside color and that's let's make it something different red sure then you can see that uh, vinyl color this is where you can change the um, there we go. Let's make it yellow so it all stands out. I know it's ugly. Um, rim color. Again, let's uh, let's go with purple. There you go. There's all sorts of other colors. Of course, you could go with a gold or whatever you like. And then the license plate. All right. So, oh, vinyl color. Does that change the color of the? Yes. Look at that. Changes the color on the mud flaps. Didn't notice that before. 
Right. So unfortunately, um, the frame and the bumper and the chrome bits, you can't change the colors on, just so you know. All right, so let's... Um, Let's just detach this attachment for the moment and take a look at the vehicle itself. So we have lights, even the little warrior thing, that's kind of neat. The warrior emblem lights up. We have beacons. They don't, the beacons are on, off on beacons are on um, you can see it flashing the beacons itself don't flash that's a little bit odd but uh, um, that's okay uh, horn eh. we have L1 and right stick up and down you can open and close they both simultaneously open or close inside pretty nice it is um, it is not a standard transmission so the the the, um, the shifter won't move it's a CVT transmission let's go for a little ride shall we I what I have noticed so let's let's point it kind of in the direction where I want to go take a look at the uh, the hood scoop there look at that when the rpm goes up the butterflies open up on the uh, and <laughs> does it is it getting closer as I going faster this is weird does this yeah look at that your perception as the faster you go the camera scrolls out I is that something new with this I I don't remember that being a thing with any other vehicle. Or is it just my brain cells are starting to fry and I just don't notice things anymore. Alzheimer's setting in maybe or something. Look at that, the camera scrolls back as you, the faster you go. There you go, 75 miles per hour. So, yeah, and let's, uh, And it stops pretty fast, too. All right, let's turn off those beacons. Right, okay, so that's the truck itself. It's quite responsive. Um, yeah, as you would expect. All right, attachments. Miscellaneous. We have multi-fruit container, $3,400. Very cheap, 30,000 liters of literally everything, even grapes. We have an auto load. Oh, so let's take a look at it. Sorry. Uh, main color, we can choose any color you want. $400. Design color. And let's make that white. Oh, well, we made something white already. There we go. Green. So you can change the color of both the unit itself and. Right? Okay. Thousand dollars each for that. Uh, flatbed auto load MT. So basically anything on a pallet. Um, yes, it is an auto load pallet. Uh, with a main color would be that, and design color like that. Uh, you cannot change the uh, the decking color. Two hundred and a thousand dollars there. Thirty-two hundred dollars. Flatbed is just a plain old flatbed, same as the other one, Just it's just a flat deck. And then we have a liquid tank. Liquid tank holds um, all the oil, sunflower, canola, and um, olive, grape juice, milk, water, uh, diesel fuel, def, if you so choose to, it's not a thing on console though, uh, liquid fertilizer and herbicide, as well as possibly other things um but that's all it says well, depends on the map too i think but anyways there you go again main color you can choose 
whatever color that's really bright let's go with purple and the design color you can make that a light blue or whatever you want all right so let's let's just go ahead and um attach the flat deck and get that other way because it's just really it's uh if you want to haul bales it's not auto load it's just a plain old flat deck trailer come on and the way you connect these is you just back them up and attach it and there it is so we have tension belts and that's it it's not a hook lift uh rally christie has a hook lift um, attachment but that won't fit on this one this is not a hook lift truck so this is do these uh, do these backs attach to anything else or does anything else attach to these backs I do not know it does not say in the description uh, if they're compatible with any other um, attachments like this I do not know if you if you do know and you have tried it you can leave a comment it'd be appreciated uh, if not I would just stick with the uh, are these uh, if you have noticed none of these have any kind of unrealistic uh, capacities so it's it's kind of um, pretty standard stuff here which is fine um, it's a nice design the vehicle itself is uh, pretty powerful so you can see here you can put whatever you like in there I'm gonna put rocks or stones because that's the heaviest thing I know as you can see there no problem handling rocks as as uh, heavy um, weight 30,000 liters and it seems to be powerful enough to go. It has a hitch on the back. I'm going to try that out. Uh, really stable. It's not very, not tippy at all. As you can see, it's going to slide before it. Uh, although I would have liked to have seen a little bit of roll, but eh, it's better than flipping over. So I'm not really complaining. Not complaining. I'd rather have no movement than too much movement. All right, so we're going to spin around here. We're going to show the dumping. Uh, we did show lights already. Yeah, lights, reverse. Yeah. All right, so dumping out, pretty easy. Trigger seems to be fine. If it likes, uh, if the trigger likes this um, sell anything point, then it's pretty much works on anything unless, unless the. Uh, Unless it's pretty, whatever you're trying to dump into is kind of screwed up. Let's, um, let's buy a couple of trailers. And see what this will attach to. And then we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the tank next. And then we will play with the, uh, so, yes. Pin hitch, not a surprise. Just about everything hooks up to a pin hitch. A ball hitch trailer, indeed. Yes, it yes it does as well. So you can easily hook it up to any trailer, basically. All right. Let's drop this off. And there we go. And zip around. And attach the tank now um, the tank is a little bit let's say a little bit different and I'll tell you why um, we will test out the tank with for a couple of things first of all let's let's put fuel in it because I want to see if you can refuel a vehicle from it so let's see, uh, there we go, okay, so we're filling fuel, so it takes fuel from a fuel by point, that's good, we'll let it fill up. And the other vehicle, sh the other truck should have used up enough fuel to see if we can refuel it from this one. 
Let's try that, shall we? Will I get the refuel? Maybe it's not... Maybe it hasn't used enough fuel yet. Alright, let me... Uh, I'll let this guy run. We're, we're going to try that in a bit. So, what's unique with this besides the various things you can fill in it? Well, it's automatic unloading. So if you go over a cell point, notice there it is unloading quite quickly as well, too. As a matter of fact, very quickly. So, be careful driving around if you don't... Yeah. That's the only caveat there, I think, with this, is it just automatically dumps out whatever it is you have. So here's all the various liquids you can put in here. I did try it out with um, with an animal pan. It works quite well. You just drive by and you hit that trigger. I mean, you don't have to do anything. It just it automatically unloads um, the water into it. So... Um, if you do have milk in here or whatever and you're just be careful not driving by see it just drove over that silo it took liquids and it took fuel so um, so now I'm going to see if we can refuel from this all right so I don't think you can refuel vehicles from this I haven't been able to um, so yeah but um again just be careful because anywhere you even if you get close to uh yeah even close to you don't even have to go over top it will it will empty out your tank so just be aware of that all right let's park this puppy and as you notice i have some product on this truck and it's furniture um, now I did buy this I did uh, buy furniture pallets at the store they are liftable so yes it will uh, pick up liftable pallets let's empty them out here and when you empty them out uh, they revert back to does that look like the furniture pallets are they liftable yes so they remain liftable once you unload them as well and just like the fuel container, you uh, you must be careful how where you drive around with this because it will automatically unload whatever you have on there. So unload or deposit or whatever if you're going by factories. So it's super handy. You don't have to hit any triggers or anything like that. But also. Uh, also, you have to be very careful with the auto load feature. It, there is no trigger. It will just automatically start loading pallets. So, if you have, say, oh, we got too many. Let's go back. Less than 5%. Let's see, see we have 2% of furniture capacity. 2% capacity. And you have, uh, and you drive by another pallet, kind of pallet, say this wool over here. And, uh, and if you go close to this wool, it will delete whatever you have on there and load up the wool instead. It will all look, it'll say all factory products. So you have to look at your info at the bottom right corner to see what you have in there. So be careful with that and vice versa. Let's see, 5%. Well, is that, is that going to be enough, or is it going to still pick up? Yeah, we're safe. See that? Once you have at least 5%, it's not going to pick up any other pallets. But, um, so, when you, um, if you have a factory producing more than one kind of pallet, say, uh, um, lettuce and tomatoes, and they're all in the same area, uh, separate them before you go and pick them up with uh, with an auto load trailer because you will lose a lot of product uh, this does not have a straps so that's another way you can tell the difference between this 
and the standard loading type wagon. So that's it for a demonstration, or well, for the most part, we are going to do one more test. And um, I would be amiss if I didn't do a torture test. Actually, we're going to go with the fancy dancy one. Uh, so let me set this up and we'll meet you over at the torture test area. Okay, so off we go. I do love that those that hood scoop opens up when you just hit the hit the gas. Well, it's not gas. Hit the diesel. And here we go. I don't think we're going to have any problem actually going up this going up this little hill but it's the hill I test everything on literally with uh, rocks or stones rock stones and uh, yeah, we're losing a little bit of a little bit of uh, speed but we will definitely make it up this hill without any problem slowing down more than I thought it would though but of course, this isn't the 14, this isn't the crazy horsepower. There's only 655. I say only 655 horsepower, but anyways, there we go. So you're not going to get stuck going up a hill, basically. That's about as steep as, of a hill you'll find on any typical map. And let's get up to the speed, 75. And hit the brakes. And not bad. I'd say that's fairly realistic, if if not, at least it's not overly, like, crazy stopping power. So, yeah, very nice. That's the update to the Lizard Warrior Plus by Riley Christie 1, VSR Modding Sir, and Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching, and remember, it's only a game, so till the next one, bye for now.